Hi friends, this is a quick video for uh, recently asked MCQs from community medicine subject. Uh, this is a short disclaimer I would like to give that we do not take the responsibility for authenticity of these MCQs as these are purely memory based recall MCQs which is of course relative and it may vary with time. However, the use of explanations or any part of the discussions for any commercial activity is not recommended and is not valid for any reason. So I'll take up the first recall MCQ. The first is absolute contraindication for copper T is previous ectopic pregnancy, menorrhagia, totally unmotivated female or anemia. So it's a pretty straightforward MCQ. Please remember that intrauterine devices or copper T's, the absolute contraindications are pregnancy, of course, then we have pelvic inflammatory disease. Then there is previous ectopics, any kind of previous ectopic pregnancy. And uh, then there is cancer, any malignancy of female genital tract, which includes cervix or uh, it includes uterus or any other pelvic tumors and uh, there's one more is unrecognized or undiagnosed undiagnosed vaginal bleeding so these are like absolute contraindications for intrauterine devices however there are some relative contraindications the relative contraindications for intrauterine devices are anemia menorrhagia unmotivated person history of purulent vaginal discharge or any history past history of uh, pelvic inflammatory diseases or history of uh, any like uh, uterine cavity problem like fibroids or congenital malformations so these are your relative or absolute contraindications of intrauterine devices apart from that just to a quick recall that copper tea the most common side effect or complications arising is bleeding so that is the most common however other things which can happen as side effects what we are discussing is the side effects the side effect could be pain it could be pelvic inflammatory disease it could be ectopic pregnancy it could be ectopic pregnancy or it could be expulsions so these are your uh, questions on copper tea next is committee for village health and planning so we could gather different types of recalls that uh, village health sanitation uh, and nutrition committee village health planning committee panchayat health committee rogi kalyan smithi just a quick word on caution on uh, rks what is rogi kalyan smithi this is a collection of individuals which are going to manage a health facility manage a health facility usually it is at a PHC level or a CHC level or a hospital level. So these are group of individuals from the community who will get together like all the prominent persons with a kind of a reasonable managerial skills. They'll probably get together and they'll be able to manage a health facility based on the local community demands and perceptions. So it is basically for health management. Uh, Panchayat Health Committee, Village Health Planning Committee, I, uh, I'm not pretty sure that uh, how would they be differently but health planning committees and they have been various uh, trials regarding uh, setting up of village coordination committees but anyways primary answer uh, if you want me to mark one answer would be Village Health Sanitation and Nutrition Committee. These are the committees which are involved in various functions like health planning like they are for implementation 
of implementation of health planning and uh, it comprises of all the MPWs, ASHA workers, they are a part of the Gram Panchayat and Gram Panchayat is the reporting, Gram Panchayat is the reporting organization. So they'll all be, all the VHSNC will be reporting to the Gram Panchayat. So it is the best answer if you are to choose out of these. Question next question is which of the following has the maximum margin of error? Uh, well, probably I'm not aware of uh, this uh, situation like margin of error. But anyways, what the MCQ might be asking is about the standard errors or the standard deviation or how much error is there. Please remember the the error is inversely proportional to the sample size. So the bigger the population, the bigger the sample size, the smaller is the error. This is big, the small error. Or conversely, if the uh, sample size is small, the error has to be big. So we can see it from various graphs that you can see here. This is a small sample and it varies a lot. Whereas this is a larger sample, it does not vary a lot. So this variance or these errors in variation is because of the changes in the sample. These are random errors which may arise because of change in the sample size. So answer to this is probably uh, straightforward that a maximum error is with the graph. Maximum error is with the graph which is the most wide. So obviously in this we'll go with this and in this the 500 thing is the maximum. 500 population will have the maximum error. Next is all can be done with a chi-square except sex and stage of the cancer, heart rate, minimum and uh, age, age group and cancer stage, tumor, benign malignant and type of surgeries. So if you just recall from your uh, classes or from your knowledge in community medicine, you can see that there are two types of data. You can either have a quantitative data or we can have a qualitative data. The qualitative data is like type of disease. So this corresponds to our option D, tumors, benign or malignant. So this is kind of a qualitative data. Age grouping, grouping of age and cancer stage. So this is a ordinal data, but it is all type of qualitative data. Gender and stage of cancer. This is again stage of cancer that is grade of cancer that is also qualitative. Gender is also qualitative. So we can see that the odd one thing out is the heart rate. Heart rate, if you recall from your classes, is like a quantitative data. So chi-square is basically for qualitative data. If you remember, chi-square test is for qualitative data. And therefore, for quantitative data, we need to apply other tests like you have small alphabet tests like t-test, you'll have z-test, you'll have f-test. So chi-square won't fit in here. So according to me, I think the best answer should be option B, which is you don't do a chi-square test over here in heart rates and age, which is a quantitative variable. Uh, next question is 13 month old child. So it's a 13 month uh, age is more than one year who has not received any vaccination from uh, birth comes to the hospital, which of the following vaccine can be given to the child at that time. So answer would be like BCG, OPV. I got various options as recall. So I'm just putting in uh, random options. Uh, I've put in like oral polio vaccines, measles and DPT and uh, BCG. 13 month old child who did not receive any vaccination from birth. So obviously OPV can be given till five years. Measles is another vaccine which can be given till like five years up till till 7 to 10 years as well and dpt is almost stopped now but anyways dpt can be given till 7 years uh, pentavalent is also one vaccine pentavalent is also one vaccine which is a combination vaccine which contains dpt and uh, h influenza b and hepatitis b so this vaccine under the national immunization schedule this vaccine under the national immunization schedule is uh, to be given till one year of age. So this is also one vaccine which cannot be given for more than one year as well as BCG can be given up till one year of age. So anyways, I think the best answer would be BCG out here because it's a direct question 
and 13 month old child who have never been vaccinated we don't give bcg so it's a direct mcq uh, next is uh, let's go to the next one that suppose you visit a sub center how many infants will be under it so that's a pretty again a easy mcq it's uh, we have done it in the classes as well many times Suppose you visit a sub-center, so you should have your basic primary knowledge that what is a sub-center. Sub-center would be at 5000 population. How many infants will be under it? So for infants, you should know like what is the birth rate. So they've just asked a random question. So I think uh, birth rate, if you recall uh, from your uh, previous knowledge, that birth rate would be something around 2021. 20, or 19 so some uh, survey would say 19.6 somebody is saying 20.2 somebody is saying 21.7 so anyways let's take an average of 20 we are not bothered with so much 19.6 or 21.2 so let's take the birth rate of 20 per thousand media population so how many live births are occurring so live births are like 20 you have in thousand population so in 5000 population we will have 20 divided by 1000 into the population that is 5000 so answer would be 100 life births so suppose you visit a sub center how many infants so direct answer is 100 so i would like to go with 100 but uh, just uh, uh, just a quick uh, extra point over here just a small extra point for you guys over here that uh, sometimes they'll be asking you how many infants would be alive by the end of like how many children would be alive by the end of one year so just take care that you need to account for the infant mortality rates as well so the alive number of infants number of infants who are alive number of infants who are alive at one year that will be given by the total live births minus the live births into the infant mortality rate so take care that if the live births is like 100 and minus 100 into infant mortality rate let's say i'm taking as 40 let's say just for an example i take as 40 40 per thousand births live births so answer would be like 40 divided by 1000 so it will be like four so uh, infants alive would be 96 actually so that's how we should be proceeding with this type of mcq just uh, that's just an extra thing for you it's a, just a tricky point that in case you are asked again so make sure you do this but anyways i would like to go with 100 in this mcq next mcq is like they had asked about uh, lactose uh, Lactose uh, is the only sugar, only sugar in uh, sugar in the milk. In the natural milk, the sugar contained is lactose. So please remember, lactose is primarily in the water part of the milk. So more the water, the more lactose it will be. The less the water, lesser lactose. But you need to take out that water. You can't just evaporate that. So obviously ice cream, condensed milk, they all contain low lactose, but uh, yogurt is like uh, uh, more with the less water and uh, yogurt and ice cream, they both contain lower amount of lactose out of them, yogurt would be the best answer. And uh, just for your remembering purpose, uh, another high yield point that we can point out is that please remember lowest lactose, low lactose food is basically butter these are low lactose then you have cheese these are lower lactose so these are like low lactose foods vitamin that helps in absorption of iron so there are something known as iron absorptors iron absorptors and there are something known as iron absorption inhibitors so the inhibitors are phytates phytates tannin oxalates calcium fiber and uh, the iron absorption is promoted by vitamin c so ascorbic acid is a potent vitamin c ascorbic acid is a potent iron absorptor 
so heat sensitive part uh, to detect vaccine viability so vaccine viability i think that's a pretty straightforward and uh, multiple times discussed mcq vaccine viability is uh, given by the vaccine vial monitor it is present on most of the vaccines and uh, you can just have a quick uh, view on uh, the immunization video that we have put up on the youtube channel and you're most welcome to look into that video and learn from many points on vaccines from those videos and uh, that's it for my collection of the mcqs anyways more mcqs are about to come so we'll have this kind of test and discussions till that time any query you most welcome to put on my facebook that is mukmo hits community and medicine discussions and this is my facebook group so you just search for this group mukmo hits community and medicine discussion anyways we ha do have our discussions on whatsapp as well and you're most welcome to ask these questions on my whatsapp number 86990 or please feel free to log on to www.mukmohit.com for any kind of community medicine updates stay update and join us on these channels thank you so much have a nice day ahead